faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it, and it'll just rip. And I'm terrified by this. A cosmic spectacle is unfolding right now, capturing the attention of astronomers all around the world. Betelgeuse, a huge red star that marks the shoulder of the Orion constellation, is changing in a big way. Its brightness has gone up a lot, by about 50%. At the start of the year, Betelgeuse was the 10th brightest star in the night sky, but now it's moved up to number 7. Betelgeuse is a giant star that's very old and close to the end of its life. It's so big that if it were in the middle of our solar system, it would reach all the way out to Jupiter. One day, Betelgeuse will explode in a powerful supernova. This could leave behind a small but super-heavy star, a neutron star, or even a black hole. The best part? Earth is in a great spot to see this happen. The star is about 650 light years away, so when it does explode, it will be a stunning show in the sky. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, the first thing we'll see is a burst of tiny particles called neutrinos. Then, bright light will shine through the dust and gas, and the star will get incredibly bright up to 100,000 times brighter than normal. It could shine brighter than the full moon, maybe even be visible during the day. At night, it might be so bright that it casts shadows, and this bright light won't disappear right away. It will last long enough for scientists to study it closely and learn even more about stars. Even though a supernova sounds scary, we don't have to worry. Betelgeuse is far enough away that it won't hurt us. To understand how we got to this point, we have to go back to late 2019. That's when Betelgeuse started acting strangely. It became dimmer, some people could even see without a telescope. Scientists used a special telescope to look closely at the star and found that its surface, called the photosphere, was changing. The outer layer was expanding, like it was puffing up. This continued through most of 2019 at a speed of about 8 kilometers per second. But in November, things changed. The star stopped pushing material outward. New pictures showed something strange. A dark spot had formed in the southern part of the star, and the star's surface got cooler by about 80 degrees Kelvin by early 2020. At that time, Betelgeuse became the faintest it had been in recent memory. Then, slowly, it began to brighten again. So what caused this strange dimming? Scientists believe it was a huge event called a surface mass ejection, or SME. This is kind of like a giant version of a solar flare, which we sometimes see on the sun, but this was much, much bigger. A huge amount of material shot out from inside the star, cooling down and forming dust that blocked some of the light from reaching Earth. That's why the star looked dimmer. This SME was the biggest one ever seen. It blasted out about 400 billion times more material than a normal solar flare, about as much mass as several moons. It was the first time scientists had ever seen something like this from a star's surface. They even used the Hubble Space Telescope to watch it in detail, which helped them learn more about how stars like Betelgeuse change as they get older. The explosion caused Betelgeuse to lose a lot of its outer layer, more than it usually loses in a year. It's like the star ripped off part of its own surface, and now it's slowly recovering. But after this event, the star's behavior changed. It used to get brighter and dimmer on a regular 400-day cycle. Now it does this every 200 days. These brightness changes happen because the star grows and shrinks a little bit over time, changing how bright it looks. There are two main cycles, a shorter one, about 400 days, and a longer one, over five years. The long one is still a mystery. To better understand what happened, scientists made computer models. These showed that a very hot bubble of gas may have formed deep inside Betelgeuse and risen to the surface. When it burst through, it caused the massive ejection and changed how the star pulses. The outside expanded while the inside shrank, 
which caused the shift from a 400-day to a 200-day rhythm. Scientists think this won't last forever. In five to ten years, Betelgeuse's inner workings should calm down, and its regular 400-day cycle might come back. As for when the supernova will happen, it's still far off. It could be in 10,000 years, or even 100,000 years. Right now, the star is still fusing helium into carbon. It still has to fuse oxygen, silicon, and iron before it reaches the end. Once the core fills with iron, it will collapse and the star will explode. But remember, since it's 650 light years away, if it exploded right now, we wouldn't see it for another 650 years. That means people alive today probably won't get to see the explosion. What makes Betelgeuse really special is that we can actually see its surface. That's not true for most stars. This gives scientists a rare chance to watch what happens to a massive star as it gets older. Thanks to this, we were able to witness the massive outburst in real time. It may help us better understand how giant stars die. And it's not just Betelgeuse. Recently, scientists saw something else amazing, a star in the constellation Aquila ate one of its own planets. That happened 12,000 light years away. It shows that stars can be destructive in more ways than just exploding. So now because it's such a bright star, the seventh brightest in the sky, it has inspired people throughout history. Writers, artists, and filmmakers have all used it in their stories. Even today, Betelgeuse is helping scientists learn more about how stars live and die. Its recent changes could teach us things we never knew before. The story of Betelgeuse isn't over, and there's still so much more to discover. The universe never stops surprising us, and neither does Betelgeuse. Stick around for more cosmic wonders. Until next time, keep looking up.